Uh, Coach Hunter pulling on the headset and a chance to look at the stat sheet. But, Coach, we were talking there a moment ago. You, lo you can look at, at a lot of individual efforts here tonight, but a lot of guys chipped in for what I, I, I'm thinking is a really big team win. Yeah, it really was. Uh, you know, you're, the second half, uh, yeah, we said we, we just kind of made a little bit of a joke at half. You know, we shot 34%. It was 23 until we had a little bit of a spurt there at the end of the first half, and it got to 34 uh, you know, I told them the defense, man, you, you held them to 29%. And, you know, and uh, if, we, if we'd stop fouling a little bit and keep them off the foul line and quit giving them some second, third shots, you know, we just got to pick our offense up. I said, this is getting a little bit silly. And the guys, I mean, <laughs> this is hilarious that, you know, we've gone several halves and not scored and just try to relax them a little bit. And, uh, you know, I thought we, we, we got it going. We came out early in the second half and got the lead and then, your, your slick really got us going. Then it was Mike Brown, and then it was Tucker hit a, hit a big basket or two, and then Rhett got two there at a crucial time, and yep. we started hitting some free throws, and we continued to play really, really good defense. Yeah, and, we did. Uh, you know, I was really – Buddy Hall gave us a segment of really good post defense down there, and we changed defenses on him a little bit. And, again, Mike Brown got some big rebounds for us. I don't know how many he ended up with, but – uh, seven. seven rebounds, but you know, it looked like he was getting a lot of the big rebounds. But just really, you're right. Just really a good team win. Couldn't be happier for our guys. Thought it was a big, big game for us. Oh, no question. And coach, it's uh, again the surprising stat. Uh, you look over on the uh, side for uh, Mercer there, 29.6% shooting for the game. And coming in, this is a team averaging over 51% from the floor in conference play. So uh, says a lot about the defense. Well, you know, I, uh, you know, we had talked about at Wofford that you know, that we played pretty good defense. It was more of our offense. And, yeah. you know, we just, you know, I, I didn't know if we could guard them or not. I, I really have a lot of respect for their players. And, uh, you know, we did a good job of, of uh, you know, of guarding some of their screens. They, they do a lot of slipping and they give you re-screens. And our guys were really alert to the game plan. I thought we executed it pretty well. And uh, outside of giving up a lot of second and third shots, or attempts uh you know i was very pleased with our defense coach socket about uh, buddy hall he had uh, i think three really big possessions there where he had a good offensive basket and two big defensive plays three plays in a row that really i think uh, uh kept the momentum on our cut outside there late in the second half yeah so yeah i, I mentioned I, I i thought he really helped us there i yeah. thought uh you know torian still hasn't got himself back in a groove yet but you know i thought tucker starting in the minutes he played were <laughs> pretty solid minutes for us out there and and then uh, buddy and jb both came in we, we needed all of our postmen that played so they, they did a good job yeah coach how important is this win here at home getting ready for a three-game road swing coming up after tonight i thought it was really really big you know i, I was i was concerned and you know having the, the top team in the league come in and, and uh you know we're struggling a little bit and and uh but, you know, it, it's a big game for us. And now we got to go on the road. You know, each game gets a little bit bigger. And, uh, you know, and, and try to go get a, a win on the road at Sanford. And that won't be easy either. It's a short turnaround. And uh, they've been playing everybody really, really well. And I'm sure they'll play us well. We just got to find a way to get it done. Yeah, they're playing Greensboro close tonight. Uh, uh, some of the winners here tonight, uh, Wofford and Chattanooga both winning, so they'll jump a little bit ahead of Mercer. Uh, uh, the Citadel losing, uh, Furman losing, VMI losing, but Greensboro and Sanford battling tough down there. But uh, as you mentioned, every night on the road in the Southern Conference, is, it, it's just a hard game. Yeah, and there's still a long way to go. And, you know, we got to try to get some road wins here in the next week and a half and then get back home. And as long as you take care of your home court, you can gain some momentum and, and you know, stay in the thick of it a little bit if you if you can steal some road wins too. Oh, no question, Coach. Uh, we appreciate your comments. Uh, again, nice win, big win here at home for the Catamounts, and I'm sure uh, uh, our, our fans love it. I really appreciate the crowd we have. I thought, you know, in the first the other thing we talked about at half was, you know, you got the crowd sitting on their hands because <laughs> you're not you're not uh, you're not giving them anything to cheer about. You know, have a little fun, get create a little Catamount excitement. You know, they're here yeah. for you.